Hello and welcome back to the Coho Friday update with me, Van Bogstad, and John Hurley. Hello. <laughs> and today we've got four things to talk about. Uh, the first of which is uh, a new feature for broadcast messages. So um, just to introduce this briefly, we had a number of people want to be able to send messages to all tenants and also to be able to send messages out that were literally just read-only announcements. Do you want to show us how that works? Yes, so there's a new button for contact housemates. From here, you can now select all the properties or some of the properties. You can put in a subject and a message. And then you can choose whether it allows replies or not. In this case, I'm not going to allow replies. Now, if we look in our message center, we'll see that it's not clogged up. Instead, it's down in a bottom bit called broadcast messages. And if we open one up, you'll be able to see that there is no replies allowed to that one. Excellent stuff. Okay, on to the next one. Uh... A number of people wanted to be able to assign actions to users within their account and also to be able to create actions that didn't already exist in Coho. So we've solved that one too, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so now if we go down to the actions panel, you'll be able to see that there is a new area to assign things. So I'm just going to assign everything to John, which is basically how Coho works at the moment. Um, and then you can snooze and we've added a nice little thing to be able to choose the day that you can snooze it to. Um, yeah, and then from here, if you want, you can view things that are assigned to other people or just view things that are assigned to you or you can now create your own actions. So if you select a property, you can type a message in for it that's going to come up in the actions panel that you see and then you can choose who you assign it to. Uh, and then lastly, you can add some extra information here um, in free text form. So uh, here I am typing some information. And then if I add that action assigned to John, he'll get a notification through the app, through the email. And um, I think that suffices for that, action, for that feature. Already looking forward to receiving it. <laughs> um, the other things that I wanted to talk about... Um, yeah, so bug fixes. Throughout September, we were quite busy in the lead up to the HMO Awards. So we put development on hold for a little bit and it was lovely to meet a lot of you there. That was a really good night. Um, but yeah, we made a load of um, bug fixes and efficiency improvements just because we'd noticed the site had gotten a bit slow. And as a result of it being slow, felt buggy to people. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we made the server four times bigger and that seems to have done a lot to help it, but we've also just fixed a load of things on the way. Um, one outstanding thing that we're still looking at, but we're hoping to have a fix over the next few days, notifications are randomly taking quite long. We've put login in to tell us when this is happening uh, and we've improved the processes quite a lot, but we're just trying to figure out the last few things that are slowing it down. Um, and then the last thing is our future development. So our main project right now is all around the rent automation, um, which when it's turned on, it will allow rents to be matched up against the expected rents that are coming in. So um, yeah, initially that's going to take the form of a CSV import while we go through the FCA approval process to get us onto open banking. Uh, the next things we've got our sites set on is maintenance improvements. And that is like improving that whole maintenance flow to include suppliers and contractors in there, as well as uploading invoices, which should bring that straight into the finances panel and make everything there so much more connected and easy to do. Um, the last thing we're looking at right now, uh, we've, we've been reaching out to some of our users to get their feedback on what they want of a zero integration. So if you're willing to give some feedback on that, please go and check the Discord channel. Uh, there's a thread in there about Zero. Give us your feedback there. Uh, next week, we're hoping to be able to be a little bit more specific on the timelines of the rent automation. So look forward to that and anything else that pops up. See ya. <laughs>